Hey guys, what's up? This is Mike Locke with MLF Consulting. Thanks for checking out this video. I'm going to walk you through how to design an icon. And this and this is something you might have been uh, interested in. You might be interested in designing icons. And uh, it's always good to know how to design um, any icons that you want. Um, what I've done, I'm going to design a TV icon. And what I did, normally when, I, when I'm not sure what the icon actually looks like, I'll go to iStock Photo, type in the name, and run a search and kind of grab one of the icons they have there and just sort of see if I can recreate it myself to make it my own okay so that's what we're gonna do so we're gonna start with a TV icon and um, we're gonna use that today in our tutorial to to demonstrate how to do that and what I'm doing I'm working in Adobe Firework so the first step you want to do um, we're gonna design the gray box so just go and grab your rectangle tool just do a rectangle like that and you can see I'm, I'm curving the, the, the corners. I'm doing that by holding down the mouse, but then I'm pushing up on the, the up arrow. So you do a little rectangle like this, and then just push up on the up, the up arrow a couple of times, and it'll give you the rounded corners. Okay, so there you have a box. It might be a different color than black, but what we want to do is do a gradient. So come over here to your paint tool. Just do click on the solid thing here and just do gradient linear. So you want a linear um, gradient from top to bottom. And then what we're going to do, let's zoom in here. We're, we're going to just, we're going to make the top portion of this color gray. A light gray. And then the bottom portion is going to be this dark gray there. Let's do this, make it a little dark. Okay, so there we have our, our box. Now let's just do the inside portion. So we're going to repeat what I just did. Um, let's do... Let's do another rectangle. Push up a couple times. Let's see. Push up a couple times and then just so that you can uh, round the corners. So now that you're around the corner, will be... What we're going to do, we're going to... We're going to create that. See a little gray little outline around the blue tube? We're creating that portion. So what I'm going to do is give it another gradient or change the colors a bit. So it's going to be a dark gray up top and light gray at the bottom. Make that dark gray. Okay, there you go. So then, what I can do is go ahead and get your rectangle tool. Now we're going to create this the inside portion, which is the the blue tube portion. Go ahead and just draw another box inside this tube. Hit your arrow key again, or your up arrow key again, to give it the rounded corners. And now this this color here should be we're gonna we're gonna do it we're gonna color it the blue this blue portion here Let's see that and as you see I'm taking the the dropper tool and just actually taking the color from my 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 icon here the reference so that you know it uh, I don't have to, to sort of think of what the color would be. I just kind of use this, this as a reference. Next thing we're going to do, let's get, do the dots here. Let's just get a circle. Do our couple our knobs. I call them dots, but you know the knobs. Then just color them, or grab your uh, paint tool and just color them gray. I think it's just gray. So let's just do two gray dots, knobs, and then zoom into our dots. We're going to give it a little we can give it a some 
I believe this is a just like a um, a reflection, a white reflection. Let's do solid white. Lower the transparency a little bit. So we're good there. Hold, select it, hold Alt, it just drag down, and that would repeat the. Uh, okay, so we're almost done. Let's just select our entire section, break it down a little bit. Let's do the antennas. Taking my vector tool, all I'm doing is creating a little triangle shape. Let's color this one gray. Get my circle tool. Do a little circle there. Select. I, I just do control G to group it. Select it again, hold Alt down, just drag to the right, and then use this flip tool to flip it. Drag it over a bit, select them both, and then use this tool here to send to the back. Okay, so as you see what I'm doing, I'm actually recreating the icon here, not to the exact pixel for pixel but I'm kind of recreating my own icon. The other thing I'm going to do is grab the circle ellipse tool and we're going to do a shadow. Just do a little shadow, just do do a little ellipse tool there. Go ahead and change the color to gray. Give it a feather. Four. Let's do make it a darker gray. And send to the back. So let's change this, lower the opacity a little bit. So that's the shadow portion at the bottom. Let's see, now you see this little shine here in the TV, in the, in the tube? Let's do this. We're going to add that to it. So let's, let's select this tube here, copy, paste, and then just drag it over. So what I did is copied it, copy it that and just dragged it over a little bit. Let's go and grab our circle tool and just put a circle over here. And let's change the let's make it give it a white linear to white, but then this one you're gonna change the opacity to zero. And then from here you want you want to flip it a little bit so that it goes from white here to fade into transparency. Okay. Lower the opacity here. Select both of these objects and then you group it. Okay. Grab your sub selection tool here. Select this one. Copy it. Click here. And then paste it. And then give this a solid white color so that you have this object selected and then you select hold your shift key down click on this object so that you're holding both go to modify mask group as mask so I just created a um, I just created the, the little shine there, if that makes any sense. But, um, so that's pretty much it. Grab it, or grab everything, Control G, to group all the objects together. And that's it. In a matter of a few minutes, I just kind of created my own TV. Now, if I wanted to quickly do this, because I don't have a lot of time on YouTube, I only have 10 minutes to show this, but... If I really wanted to get identical to this icon, I could. It just take me about, you know, 20 or 30 minutes to actually. Maybe not 20 minutes, 30 minutes, but it probably take me like 15, you know, 15 or so minutes to actually 
get really neat with that and kind of move move these uh, pixels around to to get identical to that. So that's pretty much it. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, shoot me an email at mlock at mlwebco.com and uh, um, I'll be happy to answer any questions and uh, um, subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow my blog, follow me on Twitter, and look out for more videos to come. All right, we'll talk soon. Bye.